six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. So about now. No. Yep. I got my volume all the way up. I don't hear nothing. Well, that's because you're on a delay. Yeah, it's working now, I think. Nope, yep. Mm. Cool. Well, at least it was an easy fix. So from the time we hit start, um, you know, uh, it's already, whatever. It's working now, and we're ready to proceed. Fixed in Is record it? time. Yeah. How about that? So, cool. Um, all right, so yeah, welcome to uh, episode 140, which means we're only uh, 30 episodes away from 150, which is crazy. I can't even believe it. <laughs> um, so I, I do uh, want to, like, I guess get right right into the show tonight. So let's, uh, mm. let's, uh, Check. Uh, yeah, let's go from the, the top. But I'm going to start off with a... A little extra uh, for the cheers because I want to do cheers right away. So if you remember this piece, a new piece from a couple weeks ago, I actually forgot to bring it back in, uh, but I opened this on the show a few weeks ago, and um, and it's it's been home. So uh, there's a reason I'm bringing it out now. Let's see, I'll show you. So there, there's the the egg. If you remember, you see that's how dirty it's gotten in the past <laughs> few weeks. Not too bad though. Mostly just around the stem there. So if you remember what is special about this piece, because uh, I said I wanted to get one when we put them on the show, so I ordered one, and uh, mine came. But remember, this is this being threaded. So not only that, I get this piece that I've been using and forgetting to uh, to bring back for the show, because I wanted to do this for the show, because uh, I got a new piece for it. And uh, to show you, you know, you can do the same at home. That's cool. So, I'm excited. I, um, I wasn't going to do it without uh, you. And I just uh, kept forgetting to bring it in. So, finally, this mm -hmm. week, I get to try my own new piece. So, there. Uh, that's what's inside. What's kind the of box. the park? Uh, this would be like a tree park. Mm. Uh, like it's it. right there, welded inside uh, the, the stem, oh, and then the stem uh, just thread. Whoops, just threads in, just like that, and uh, it's pretty cool. So then we're gonna add some some water here. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, you know what? We got new backgrounds. I'm just gonna go ahead and change because how's this for 420 oh. special? Yeah, that's fun. yeah, that's perfect for the for 420 Cute. shenanigans. So let's move this guy over a little here. Now the only bad thing about having this piece for the show is it's too tall, 
And, uh, you know, I can't do it on the show well because it's too tall of a piece. But I just wanted to bring it in so you could see uh, the new thing. Uh, so I could uh, show you this new piece and how it worked and, you know. The things uh, you come in here and buy are the same things that I have at home, you know, that we all do. So that way you know it's good. If it's good for me, it's good for you. And if it's not good for us, not good for you, uh, we don't sell it. So that's our, that's the way. That is our way. And we don't do fads and stuff. If it's not good quality because it's good quality in the box yes just not gonna uh not gonna carry it all right well let's Shout do out to Sarah first in the room yeah Hello. so this way you can see uh the top and the bottom i guess maybe yeah in the top video and then the bottom and the lower video all right cheers everyone cheers, cheers too cheers. tall yeah <laughs> Cool. So, uh, yeah. Cheers. Pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, it's about it's about like it was before. I think I can just take like a a bigger hit now. Mm. Still blowing smoke out. <laughs> so anyway, all right. Well, we'll we'll do another cheer soon enough. Mm. <coughs> I have, uh, you think we feel different? Uh, or it's not mine it's a little, I, I think I can just take a bigger hit now, just more more smoke, a little smoother. Mm. So it's kind of like smoking out. More of, space and more park. Mm, yeah. A little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. it is. Mm. Just a little bit. For, just for the enough space for the perk, I guess. Mm. But the video but yeah. showed it well. Like Stephen Woods was saying, it was good travel time on the piece. Mm. Uh, they, they were able to see it well on the video. So now you can cool. say hi to everyone. Yeah, Sarah, first in the room. Thanks for tuning hi. in. I ain't seen you in a while. I'm glad it's mm. all. You're glad you. I hope you're doing well. And then the Hensons. What's up? Always, always good to see you. Yes. Yeah, as always. And then Eric Bright. Yes. Um, AJ and Noah, I think, uh, I believe, are camping this week. I think they're they're traveling mm. somewhere. The Santi Agos. Thanks for tuning in, Brittany. Far away, uh, being far Cube away. Surfer. And, uh, you skip. Uh, Cube Surfer. Hey, what's yeah. up? Saw her yeah. in person the other day. That was <laughs> awesome. Tiara Summer, uh, you stuck now. Nah, you, I've seen your name a few times. You're gonna end up being regular. You oh, watch out. Uh, Lorinda, thanks for tuning in. Cornell, what's up, man? Ain't seen yeah. you in a while. Elijah and Katie, always uh, yes. a pleasure. Thanks for tuning Thank in. You. Uh, this is this is the next best thing to hanging out. Scott Myers, what? That's a, a, a mm. way back. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope Bye -bye. you're able to endure for uh, most of the show. Maybe even the whole thing. Test your metal today. Only the true um, G's hang out. Yeah, the only the true G's can tolerate it to the end. Um, so uh, yeah, what what are we gonna do? Uh, What's yeah, up? So this one. Number one, Kay. sexual, here. All right. When we yeah. ask for the uh, Mad Libs this evening, we are keeping it 420 smoking marijuana theme. The Libs itself is it, but the words that we're asking for will be. Yeah, 420 themed. Mm. Uh, what were you asking for, nouns? Uh, yeah, to start off with. Yeah, nouns. Throw out some nouns. nouns. Smoking related nouns. Well, here's this thing. Uh, these are uh, little breath mints, just little little inexpensive candies, three dollars. It's the over the open ones over there, mm. but that's the coolest thing about it though is it's yeah. a push button. Yeah, like little you mash this coming. little button, and it comes out the bottom like uh, opposite of a Pez, uh, mm -hmm. kind of like just a, a tiny like pieces. a Tic Tac yeah. and Pez had a baby. But yeah, you mash this button down, and one little candy pops out at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And they are this just is, specifically for cotton mouth. This is uh, good for for uh, carrying the four twenty because you're gonna have a cot, uh, dry mouth. Yeah, cotton mouth. Yeah. Cotton mouth. Yeah. So, um, 
That's that's what it is. And we carry uh, some cotton mouth cat. Look at how blurry this is. Like, why? I, it seems like you would just focus on whatever is in your face. <laughs> like, why you wouldn't... Oh, there. there. So, um, so yeah, there you Some, go. Uh, so anyway, um, we have cotton mouth candy that we've sold forever, and it's kind of expensive. So this is a, a more affordable option. Mm. Um, and then these, I don't think we showed you these. Uh, new from Hidden Hills. Uh, we got a couple of new things from them, like uh, a week or two or so ago, I think we showed. So it can switch uh, that. We have some other new stuff coming, but yeah, these in particular are switches. Um, and you got a hybrid and a, um, I mean a hybrid, you got a sativa and an indica in each one. And I was thinking that these were all uh, collaborations with Plug Play, but I'm wrong. This is a collaboration with uh, LA Traffic, which is, uh, these are all just huge names in the industry. If we're on the West Coast, you would know who these people were, I guess. This one is uh, Big Chief. I think it's, yeah, Big Chief. Uh, so these are just big can cannabis industry names. Plug Play. And the reason I thought Plug Play is we saw Plug Play in Vegas, uh, and they were connected to the Hidden Hills booth um, and all they were doing was flavored slushies. So I was of the opinion they specialized in like uh, flavors and stuff. So, and that, I guess that still might be kind of true, but this uh, is the combination or the collaboration with Plug Play. Um, how about the feedback? It's good? Yeah, so far, but hidden, all the Hidden Hills feedback mm. is good. And then this is uh, um, 21, 21 Cannabis. This is a club. And that's a diamond. So um, this is uh, 21 Cannabis, uh, little disposable vapes. And these are their new, we've been carrying their uh, their stuff for a while and their vapes. But these are THCA, THCP, HHC, Delta 8. I think these are both the same blend, yes. They are both the same blend, despite one being a sativa and one being an indica. Mm. Uh, but anyway... Um, That's cute pocket. This is from Mellow Fellow. So for people that don't know, 21 Cannabis is the same thing as Mellow Fellow. It's their house brand. But whereas 21 Cannabis uh, specializes or deals more in the THCA and is kind of more kind of straight up, the Mellow Fellow stuff is more blends, I guess, uh, is the easiest way to explain it. A mm. little hard to read because the metallic glossy but this is thca icy cone also from 21 cannabis aka Only house a brand no this is uh two pre-rolls that are sticky and you can't really see and it's a focus anyway <clears throat> but these are actually on a special kind of nice little deal um these are only two for 15. um so you get uh two in there and they are coated um, in the THCA diamonds, stuff like that. Have you tried? Uh, yeah, I did try one. Uh, they're pretty strong. So they're... Uh, uh, compare with the snow cone, which one? Uh, it's kind of hard to say because I had snow cones first mm. um, and with an unexpected, mm. um, you know, reaction. So uh, kind of hard to say, like the sequel to a movie after you've already seen those characters oh. and you've been introduced to that universe mm. um, is just not going to hit the same. So that's, I wouldn't say that would be the, a fair comparison. Um, I would just say they're equal. Okay. They're that's equally cool. enjoyable. Yeah. Mm. Uh, equally in, in, enjoyable. Cool. So, um, yeah, I would, I would suggest them equally Okay. and cool. wouldn't say one way mm. over the other. Uh, but the first time I did the, uh, tried the uh, snow okay. cones though. Holy cow, man! Yes. That was yeah. That was that's a lot to but I feel the customer come when customer come back, like blow my in the face, show me. So look at yeah. this. <laughs> that reminds me of something out of uh, space balls. Yeah, like I don't. Why? What is this other than a, it's a hand and it's giving me the. The air air gun, pew, pew. yeah, pew pew. So let's uh, 
Let's see, it does have a cord, right? So USB let's do no this. Uh, yeah, it's got a C charger. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this C cell in and plug this thing here. C port, not C cell. Uh, there. Oh, cool. And then look at that. So that's pretty dope, right? That's really cool. It doesn't flash. It just looks like that on the, oh, because it's green. It went to green, so it turned invisible. Yeah, that's cool. It wasn't flashing. It was just as it was transitioning to another color made it flash. So as you can see, it oscillates through different colors and stuff. Um, uh, let's see, Handycam. You can see it here, uh, lighting up and things. And then uh, down here, the fingertip. Uh, damn, you can't even see it really oh my on the so camera. Yeah, light. super bright. Well, anyway, the fingertip right here. You wanna? Uh, you wanna? No, because the cord isn't long enough for me to. Uh, uh, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, you just have to take our word for it. The uh, the the fingertip lights up, and uh, so let's go back to main camera Quite here. Brightly. Yeah. Uh, so this. It, so anyway, what does it do? Well, you could put a can of butane back here. It's a stand for your dabbing stuff. So a can of butane goes back here, and you gotta have that handy. Over here on this side, you got spots for uh, 14 millimeter uh, things to go. So what if you have a 19, or what if you wanna put something else or some other tools here? You're just out of luck. There's just nothing you can do. Uh, it have to be 14. Uh, on this side, um, you can put something that's not going to stand up very well like some tools that's just going to flop over maybe stuff some q-tips down in there uh something like that some business cards so when people your friends come over you can flip through the local businesses somebody needs a card for the so local salon or uh <laughs> landscaping it's good for our silicone sweep yeah you can put a sil piece of silicone in there mm. so anyway your, uh, what do you really do with it is mm. It holds your torch, and it's called a handstand. So look at that. Isn't, isn't that the fucking the coolest thing you've ever seen? So it has a notch here that's cut into the fingers uh, for the torch to go in perfectly uh, where it doesn't stay or sit at all. <laughs> so Maybe uh, a thicker just, one. Uh, no. Thicker if one. you have the other thicket torch, um, mm. the, the bulb one, yeah, it doesn't fit in here oh. at all. And those come with oh, their own they're... base, but these these don't need a base because this is my ah. personal torch, by the way. Comes with that. Uh, so this thing is cool, and that's about it. I'm it's... not surprised that that is your torch, considering it looks like a blaster. Uh, well, I uh, think it does make um, really good torches, uh, and uh, we carry the full line of Thicket torches. Um, they are all like really good torches. Um, and the Thicket product is great. Uh, the Thicket travel pipe uh, mm -hmm. is awesome. It's uh, one of our favorite products, one of my mm -hmm. favorite products, period. Uh, it's so easy this to is, use. Yeah, the, the torch is easy to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a lock here. So you can lock the trigger mm -hmm. for safety, make sure it can't be depressed. And then when you pull the safety down and you click it, mm -hmm. uh, the, the trigger automatically stays depressed and the flame just continues to come oh, out. Okay. Uh, this is your fuel gauge. So as soon as you turn this fuel gauge on and uh, pull the trigger, we'll get a light there. And then you can control uh, the flame here and then you just turn it back off. So we'll just take a mm. uh, so kind of a... Yeah, yeah, for sure. You could for sure use it for cooking. Oh, so I turn good. it here. You're gonna need to back up and tell me. Hey. <laughs> back up. No, uh, back back hi. away. <laughs> so uh, here, let's, uh, this is as best as I can get it on. We oh yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, and it'll just stay that way. Then uh, to turn off. So now, yeah, and then this pops out. So we can set it down safely mm. and uh, not burn or, or hurt anything. Mm. And uh, we so, have a lot of color. Yeah, all That's kind of cool. colors, all kind of colors. Mm. Um, and in this, 
Is it something that, uh, huh? Handicap's frozen. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh, the other, our other one, yeah. <laughs> Funny face. So, <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's not, <laughs> that's the main cam. Why is the main cam frozen? Ah, uh, right now, pushing the computer. Welcome to another episode of... Yeah, why is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so so now we have to do the rest of the show like this because uh, uh, now I don't know what to do with the why the regular camera's frozen. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. Go back here. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they can still hear. It. There's nothing wrong yeah, with the mic. Use like, this one, like, hey, but, Let's see. Uh, I like it. Somebody said delete the source and add it back. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is where I'm going uh, to uh, deactivate, activate. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, so I knew that that was going to be how to fix it. I I, uh, I just had to think about it. Hey, again, so, such okay, a cool. more quick fix than ever before. Yeah, yes, at least it's fixable. Like it. So, yeah, so now so now we're back. What, what were we doing? But, uh, oh, one. we got to. Switch what you think. What about this one though? Which one? About oh, the background. That. Yeah, That's so cute. something that uh, that we never do on the show. Never ever do on the show. And that is uh, dabs. So back to Handycam. This is the rig that I brought. Um, it's pretty expensive, a little bit older piece. Uh, this is a collaboration uh, with uh, Helix. So there's a... What's the definition of rigs? A uh, rig is something that's just more specifically made for like wax. Okay. Can uh, I call a water pipe? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is a water pipe. A yeah, rig, can I use it? A rig both. is a water pipe, yeah. Mm -hmm. I should have just done this earlier and uh, moved the camera further back because that, that makes sense. Mm. So anyway, uh, here's this. Mm. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show you was not only am I not really a wax person not really a dab guy uh just just like this isn't a focus camera <laughs> let's see this worked earlier are those available in store too yes all right well it's just not going to work and i don't want to waste your time <laughs> so uh there you can see it's called it's sugar mm. uh this one is pink runts i think but we have diamonds and we have batter uh, the diamonds is, is what I like right now. Eric has um, asked if that's the one that tried to kill them. Yeah, and then this is the lemon slushy. That's a new one, which was really good. Uh, my favorite so far uh, is the grape soda. It smells amazing, mm. and it actually tastes like it smells. Um, and I am not the, uh, the kind of, like I said, it's not my thing, especially like the, the fake stuff. Um, and then my carb cap, what I'm using, is the uh, Carbit uh, from White Rhino. It's glow in the dark, which is uh, not relevant, but you get uh, three different kind of carb smell. caps here. So what's cool is if you don't know much about dabbing, um, this, it doesn't get hot um, So because of silicone. I don't have to worry about burning my fingers. I don't want to have to worry about dropping this and it breaking or whatever. Um, so with this, um, you have whatever different kind of carb caps uh, you might need. And this way, for a lot cheaper price, you can kind of experiment. And then this one is specifically for spinners, uh, for pearls and stuff. So... Um, that's you really can kind of try that. things to see what you like. Uh, ten bucks. So for ten dollars, you get an unbreak unbreakable little piece that you can uh, kind of experiment with. And I do not recommend this over uh, the glass, uh, a nice glass carb cap or a better uh, setup. But this is fucking great uh, to start out and just to like for not to spend much, just to see what you like and what works for you. And you get a whole set of interchangeable ones. Yeah. And what I like about it is, um, like I said, it doesn't get hot. And I don't have to worry about being clumsy and this mm. getting uh, hot to the touch or um, dropping it. So never um, touch these parts. As a yeah, you never touch the banging. Yeah, I was about to so, touch. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know about it. 
No, you don't preload it. You heat it up till it's it's hot as ready as you need it to be. How to know? I have never stabbed before, so this is a cool. So it's probably ready. So it's it's past ready. You can Don't see you can <laughs> see it's smoking. Uh, some dust residual stuff coming off. Um, and you put your hand Don't. here. Make sure that it's got a good heat to it. You want to let it cool off just a little bit. And Ten, then I'm going to get the tiniest, tiniest little piece here. And that was from the material you showed earlier, right? Yeah. And this is actually, I don't count down. It goes a long way. You want me to use a chopstick or something? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trying to show you. Like, just a little, I don't know. Little, <laughs> little, little, tiny, tiny piece. And what was that from? The uh, Dabadoo, Whoa, it does go a long way. Yeah. Woo. Smooth. Yeah, it tastes great. Yeah. It tastes great by spelling. Yeah. Mm. So there you go, and that's a uh, that's quick, you know, dab how to do a dab thing, mm. and, and I'm not a dabber. So that's, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a dab person, so. I'm not a dapper. Well, that's, well, no, that's dabbing too, isn't that it? That is dabbing, the, the dance, yes. So, um, go ahead, Brad, show us again, what was that? Do I have to? Yeah, sure. That's Brad dabbing, look at that, dabbing Brad. Not so, so dapperly. Yeah, all we can see is a little bit of your hat. <laughs> so, cool. and you're upside down. You're like a bat, a Batman, if you uh, will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I almost wore my bat badge. Let's see what happens if I... Uh, flip? Yeah, what, if I can. Let's see, uh, flip. Brittany likes your Vertical. shirts. Yeah, no, that's, uh, no, not that one. We want to flip uh, hor the other way, uh, horizontally. There we go. Oh. Now you're straight up. Yeah, I'm human. Yeah, look up a little. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was, wanted to have a like, screenshot of that movie. Yeah, a little that bit was, funny. That was face. great. Uh, okay, how much cool. really uh, concentrates? Jeff was asking. F uh, 40. 40? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, 35. So if you come 40. in. Yeah, no, uh, 35 for Jeff. That looked or, like an old MTV's music video. Or, <laughs> What? Oh, when it, whenever, uh, yeah, uh, with anybody that comes in from the show uh, can do that. So there is a new segment I want to introduce since we did technically do um, uh, a cheers. Let's do another cheers because there's something brand new hmm. that I want to share with you guys. Remember the road trips that we never got to take together? You remember the, the Route 66 episodes that you never saw, <laughs> that we never got to do? Um, for other technical difficulties not related to Fuck Stream Labs. But we finally did get something worked out, and I do have something to present to you that's also a bit of a trial, a bit of a sneak preview, um, so that we can do these things going forward. But this new segment is a uh, five-minute field trip. So for about five minutes, uh, we did figure out a way to do these slideshows so that I could bring them to you on the show and we could kind of review a little trip. Now, the first one that I chose, what we're about to share with you is, uh, I think Stafford, Stanford, Stafford, anyway, he was uh, he was instrumental in the uh, early space program. That's um, why I wear this. He worked, oh, cool. <laughs> uh, he worked for uh, Lockheed Martin um, and actually uh, was on the team that developed the uh, that special famous black bomber uh, that uh, actually, I guess, the fucking Lockheed company, like, that's their staple. You know what I'm they talking about? The, the Blackbird yeah. looks like the X-Men plane or whatever, and it's a black cloaking device, <laughs> technological. I, I think the Blackbird was based off of that. Just yeah. Like, sci fi up. So, uh, yeah, that guy. So the guy that was at the head of that, um, he has uh, a space place. So I figured for a 420 episode... Uh, no one, hardly anyone on earth 
will ever get as high as this guy did. <laughs> so we figured, you know, we can't get any higher than, than space. And yeah. uh, that said, Hi, but I cheers. Cheers. There's a parade at the State House Sunday at 2. This is a lot. <laughs> What's the parade right. party, Sierra? So this is the oh, for space. Uh, it's not for SR-22. Um, oh, maybe 420 parade. No. I doubt it. I think it's too early for pride, too. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. what else could it be for? Well, let's, uh, uh, it's not for cheers. All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Here's, let's go to our segment here thing. Uh, uh, so, yeah, this is uh, this is outside uh, when you pull up. You see this this plane here, and then they had some other planes. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a real plane person, but I, these are my favorite planes. Plane. These are really cool, my favorite styles of planes. I guess lots of people, the fucking Gatlin gun coming right out the mouth at the front of the plane, though, is epic. Um, so, uh, but it was a space station place. Now that's a picture of the, the plane we were talking about. And that's a team, that's the team of people that were working on the Blackbird, uh, or I think that's what that, it was called, the stealth bomber uh, thing. And, and that's the Gemini, so that's the actual cockpit of the Gemini, and that's the guy who piloted the Gemini. That's the uh, first... Uh, documentation of a flying object. So now oh, we're wow. going to go through the history of flying. Mm -hmm. I think that's the Da Vinci model there. Um, and uh, there, these other like early uh, flying models, uh, but the hot air or weather balloon was the very first thing. And then they started coming up with these wing devices. Mm -hmm. um, and then they just, I guess, figured the device needed to be bigger even to carry just one person. Now, that's the Wright brothers. They were doing bikes. Uh, there were some really good bike builders. There they are there. Everyone knows the Wright brothers. Um, and then that they uh, started off with their first flyer. Um, and then this is showing there uh, the couple different versions. And before it was even perfected, uh, that's not Amelia Earhart. That's another really famous. Maybe that is, but I don't, I'm not sure. I want to say that it wasn't, but I thought it was. Um, so anyway, these are some early early planes, uh, super famous uh, planes and whatnot that it's going too fast for me to explain a whole lot, and I really don't know anyway. So um, That's what happens when it's a five-minute road trip. But what the funny thing was is I think it was the third or fourth version that explained back there before the plane was even perfected, the military approached the Wright brothers and said, oh, we'll take it. Oh, there's a nuclear <laughs> warhead right there. So... Uh, and the space program, there's one of those, uh, the giant uh, control Computers. centers, yeah, where the, all those people sat at the huge, uh, mm -hmm. and there's the uh, the little landing pod. Um, so uh, there's a big uh, rocket thing there, rocket thruster. Uh, the space program was only, and going to space is only because um, Rockets were never uh, meant to be for flight. Rockets were only a weapon, a missile. And someone invented a mess a missiles and rockets. And the guy, I don't remember, that is a huge fucking rocket. So um, you can see there's my head. Now, compared to the size of my head, which is also quite large, you'll notice that that rocket was fucking massive. It went forever, like on and on. Um, and then that's a rocket thing. And do you know how big a fucking thruster is? That's the end of a thruster, uh, the backside of it. There's my head. So <laughs> again, <call> <laughs> next to the size of my head, and that's many, many feet away. Look, that's mm. how big the thing is. Uh, wow. that's, that's one thruster, and then there's like four thrusters inside each thruster or <laughs> something like that. Uh, yeah, more programming and gizmos. That thing, that huge, huge fucking thing, like out of a James Cameron, uh, that looks right out of Avatar, is the platform that carries the rocket. It's a fucking little city just to carry the rocket. It moves slow as shit. That's the treads. Um, so there's the size of my foot instead of my head. Each tread weighs one ton. That one piece of metal wow. is, a, is a ton. 
Uh, that's the inside of the space cockpit. I took, uh, I re I, like you can see the picture twice here. So that's exactly what the astronaut sees. Shitty, shitty fucking view. So you look out uh, and see uh, Earth through a cheese wedge. Uh, the cock, the little thing. That's 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 what that's as big as the ship is. So talk about claustrophobic. Um, and then there's a spacesuit. Everyone knows what it looks like when you go deep underwater. And the glove said, and "There's stealing the spacesuit." Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's uh, Hitomi, and mm -hmm. uh, then there's one of the thrusters, like the I mean, not the rocket shells. The, like the outside of the thing, so you can see that's how crazy. big it is, yeah. And uh, there's an inside of the cockpit, like a cross-sectional view there. That was a tuna can. <laughs> how many fucking dials? Like, yeah. look at that's like, you know, uh, the Millennium Falcon looks way easier to drive. <laughs> that's a breakfast table in space for giants. Uh, some sort of huge plastic guy that nothing ever happened to. That's before you put the space suit on. Uh, he's bored. That is... Uh, the space station that's the actual oh, wow. the real uh they they miniaturize all of the astronauts before they go there but that is the actual space station as it is uh in space so you can see it right there those are all solar panels most of the ship is a solar panel uh, and then like four cubicles for 18 people to live in. I thought that was a really cool thing with the plane with the mouth in the front, that, like a fish. So it's like sucking in the air, going faster than it would if it didn't suck. And then there was another one that looked much more impressive uh, and dangerous. So um, that, that plane looked cool and there was a scaffold and the sign um, says uh, danger. Uh, keep out so immediately uh, got in the plane <laughs> so um, and then I you know to show that that was actually me then Hitomi did it um, because I didn't force her I said uh, you should uh, and then uh, here I am showing you um, in slow motion and this will be the last clip because we we're kicked out after this so we had to go no, I'm just kidding. That was a different plane. Ha, 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 I would never do anything like that. We didn't get in the green plane. This is the cockpit of another plane. Um, and then we left on our own accord after buying a couple of hat pins and some soap from a space station place. I mean, that, that's mm. very appropriate, though. You yeah. kept, kept it on brand. <laughs> but look at all of the, uh, the, like, why? What the fuck? Now, the other thing I think is weird about this is look how many dials and how many contraptions and things there are going on here, but only like four wires. There's, um, there's, there's like three mm -hmm. cords coming out of the dashboard <laughs> with all of these things, and I'm like, well, what the fuck else does everything hook up to? Maybe so, decoration. How many headphones do you need? And like these are clearly like jacks and ports, like so I guess, anyway. Uh, so there you go, and that's the little bit, bit more than a five-minute field trip. That's mm -hmm. so, very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, back to that, what I was telling you uh, earlier is that, um, let's see, uh, what about, um, check this out. Jack went all the way to space for you guys. Yeah, we're going to. So, uh, yeah, but the cool thing was is that there was a guy, I don't remember what country, but from another country, was in America, and said, hey, there's these things, rockets, uh, missiles, and I think it's really cool, uh, it can be used, um, you know, for flight and uh, a lot of practical applications and stuff. No, we're not interested. It's the stupidest idea, this thing and the fuel and the psh, and like, that's, that's dumb. That'll never catch on. Uh... Russia uh, bought into it at the time. Russia bought into it and said, we can weaponize this. And then guess who immediately jumped on the train as soon as missiles could be weaponized. And it wasn't until the space program that rockets served no other purpose other than uh, weapons. And then someone said, well, we can build a, a rocket big enough to achieve a goal of going to space. Instead of blowing each other up. Yeah, so so when we blow each other up, we have somewhere to go in space. So, and they showed the moon landing, but that was a lie. So I cut it out of the slideshow because it's uh, eye candy. Oh. 
40, so a little bit speed up. Okay, there is something else we're going to do here. Mm. I've been meaning to do this on the show for, uh, for like, weeks. So, you know, sometimes we try things on the show. This isn't anything uh, that anyone doesn't know about. Anyone here, I think. Y'all know what that is. Even though it's blurry, you, you know what that is. Honey? Yeah. But uh, uh, they told me never had one. Oh, good. So man. you want a blue or the green? Of course green. you want the green. Mm. I'll do the blue, and I'm wearing blue, so that's cool. Timely. Timely? No. Seemly. Seemly. Hey, you can't just... <laughs> <laughs> mine is stuck. <clears throat> I still have paper on mine. Some things from childhood never change. What? <laughs> Do the paper sticking to the game. Yeah, I don't know why. It did it in such a weird way, and it won't come up. Count down to see who lasts longer without making a face. Yeah. <laughs> nope, yeah, keep going. Mm. No means. Don't worry, it won't hurt you. This tastes horrible. <laughs> But on the outside. Yeah, it goes away After pretty quickly. After 10 seconds, it tastes good. Yeah, maybe a little bit longer. Oh, Jack's already having to cheat. Hmm. This is the best part. What? After it goes away. Well, sour part. I gotta be able to talk. I can't swallow enough. Jeez. <laughs> That's what Jay said. Do you want to give do you a giveaway pick? while you're waiting for your... Uh... Mm. You want to pick? Yeah, I'll just spit it in your hand. <laughs> What's uh, What? You want to do a giveaway while you're recovering? Sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, Good catch. Um, speaking of grass... And candy. Mm -hmm. How about this? Have you ever seen this before? I got a blue one and this one. You can use it as a decoration and after that yeah. eat. You can stick it in a basket and ice cream or um, ice cream on top of the basket or something. So who wants it? Who wants to see if they can eat, eat, their, eat their own grass? Mm. Number in the 80s. Mm, number in the 80s. A number in the 80s. If you want to come pick up yeah. this edible grass in two weeks. I think it's not bad. What? This one. I ate the green. Mm. And the whole bag for pa well, one person. One mm. sa saving pop container. Mm. You I can eat the whole. Got yes, got it. Yeah. Dang. Where's our sound effects? Oh, way over here. Mm. Oh no, it's, but it's the right one. Oh, right, here we go. That's so, it in one. Yeah, right away. Well, it's not sour now. Mm, I already ate. You already ate it? Yeah, I heard it crunch it. Oh man. No. Why? Mm. I'm going to set mine there for later. Ah. Okay. So I can focus. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's next? Hey, this one. Oh. Speed up. Already, yeah. already 46. Just in case I prepared the drink too. Oh, cool. I didn't know I had liquid cheers. I would have done that earlier. You want me pour? No, oh, it's okay. okay. I'll do it next one. Uh, and this probably isn't going to work well because... So this is... Uh, yeah, we have a whole new section for Yeah, a this. whole new sticker section. Yeah. So I'm um, going to just show them to you. It's just going to have to be from a slight distance so we can keep the focus nice. You can see them though. Pokemon. Oh, uh, yeah, Close Encounters, uh, this, Hitomi. this way maybe, <laughs> say so you're not really doing a whole lot with the 3D, but these are all, uh, they're either uh, holographic or 3D, I mean not, they're either oh, 3D like or, um, or switching, lenticular is the word if you want to be technical about it. Uh, but they're all 3D and or. That one looks like it would be uh, <coughs> Monkey and Danny Darko. <laughs> So some of them, like the whole image changes, some of them uh, are the shape of a Superman symbol for no reason. This one's like crazy 3D. 
Um, it's never going to show up on camera very well. Um, this is pretty cool. Are they a uh, decal grade or more like maybe for like laptops and whatnot? Yeah, more for laptops and stuff. We talked about this before. I've seen plenty of people have these uh, on their car. We've got customers that have them on their car, and they hold up to an extent, but there is a, an edge around here, and as long as that's exposed to any kind of moisture, um, but I've, I've seen them I hold up. I mean, they're, they've been on people's cars, so I, but... I wouldn't expect much. Uh, yeah, I would stick more to laptops and, you know, around the house kind of indoor use. I'd put one uh, magnet use. strips on mine and turn them into magnets. Yeah, you could, that'd be cool. Um, or you could even, like, buy uh, seven That's for cool. five. Uh, you can get seven for five magnets here, so less than a dollar. And, um, Ooh, that's a, that's a dusty, Justin. This is uh, from the Karate Kid. <laughs> Do you remember that? The, um, Vaguely. Oh, uh, Karate Kid 3, that is. This one's cool. So, bam! That's, bam! Yeah, that's cool. Um, this is a really neat one that you that's can't a, a see that well. Oh, upside down. So, that's a lot going on. We are looking at it uh, last uh, the other day, and there's a heart and some swans and just some uh, it's a lot and, and the, there's this almost looks like he's doing a bird right there and are these totally. all similar prices uh yeah they're all like 10 mm. uh this one's really cool some dishes yeah these are dishes mm -hmm. some dishes is that what you said? Dishes? Mm, like a food. Yeah. Like soup or something. And then uh, this Professor one's X. cool. Yeah. Uh, I know. I discovered the same pose as a Buddha. Can you show so this anyway, one? Uh, yeah, I know. We saw that one. Mm. Same. No, it's not the same. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Avatar. <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, Avatar 2. What the hell? Well, why don't I, why am I conf fights are cool again? Uh, hey, you look at that and see if you can explain to me why is, is going on. What's up? Uh, mushrooms. Let's see, Jason. No. But fights are cool again, and then. Maybe, so you, oh, maybe like a hockey player wanting to fight again, like bringing the fight back to hockey. Not <laughs> this Jason, is cute. Yeah, this is one of the craziest ones. Look at this one, Brad. It's cute. Oh, I do like that. That's fun. That should go fast. And then the cat dog. I don't expect that to last very long, but who broke it? Who broke it? You, you, um, you. Um, just want to just get through these, but they're like they're so cool. And they just keep going. Yeah, and then there's like with some of these we saw as posters. I don't <laughs> know why they're sheep, but. It's cute. Yeah, Gengar. And then another. Gengar stated profile. Oh, that's fun. Eevee. Goes to which Eevee. one was that? Umbreon? Yeah, that's Clark cute. Clark Kent. Oh no, this one's got three. That's got Jolteon on it too. Jolty on. One piece? Yeah, one piece, three colors. So, yeah, some of them do uh, a lot of stuff, some of them not so much, uh, but they're all really cool. Uh, and I'm just trying to get through them so you can see them all. And uh, there he is, chattering away. It's mm -hmm. uh, Ash Ketchum. Uh, Betty Boop. I was gonna go Sabrina. That works better. Well, then who would this be? Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Princess Peach. All right. Well. Um. Okay. So thank God that part's over. What can we do now? I, I, no. Over there. Oh man, I'm tired of those things. You want a hand? Let's. Uh. No. Uh. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's take a trip uh, to um, 
the history of uh, Seven Cents products and the way that we didn't get to do that we would have done this month, all month, um, if it weren't for Fuck Stream Labs. But Brad had a good idea of going through the different uh, products and things. So this was uh, the first rolling tray that we had. And actually, the first rolling tray uh, was the Danny Darko LED tray. Hey, Brad, can you hit that light right quick? This one? Yeah. So I doubt it's going to show up, but something that you didn't know, there's a coating there's a, on this, uh, this picture here. So I'm going to turn the light on, and if you can see it on the camera, you'll see the lights in the background. This is in the middle of uh, Times Square, by the way. And I took this picture, and we had to take like 100 and something pictures to get it just right with the least amount of traffic for her to just run out in the middle of Times Square um, like the ball drop is like right behind me. That's exactly where we are. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this on. And yeah, you can sort of see it. See how the Disney sign back there is lighting up? Oh yeah. And there are different things. Her hair, her hair and fingernails like uh, light up. The signs that are back there. The Disney sign right there is really the main one. But there's a lot of that going on in this picture. Um, you just can't really see it so well on the camera. Well, anyway, you can set it on the lights that you want. This is good for outside or get dark, after I get dark. It's so cool. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway. Or if you're watching a movie. <laughs> this was uh, the first one that we had, long press. Uh, and it's, it should go off there. I uh, got them in a couple different colors. Uh, so that'll be one of the giveaways, mm. and we can go ahead and do that now. Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of those for sale too. If anyone, how much are they? Uh, like, I don't remember. They were like thirty, but mm -hmm. maybe twenty-five. Some little discount on whatever they are. Mm. But you can uh, win one now. There are, there are only a few of them, but if, mm. if anyone's a fan of the Shots Fired thing or remembers Danny Darko or wants like a keepsake from that era, uh, pre-COVID, um, then that'd be a, a cool thing to have. Mm. Uh, a number in the 90s. So a number in the 90s, uh, you can come uh, get one of those. Now that you know what it's what it's about. And then right, if you don't win, you can still buy. Yeah, what's yeah, or you can buy one. Okay, if so you... skip to that one, right? So next one is da, 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 da. Okay, da, da, so da, 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 da. I'll set that. What is that? That sounds so familiar. Da, da, da. So we got these things in. Uh, King Palm Dog Walker. Dog Walker is a little tiny size cones. No way or yet. So, um, I thought these were going to be like regular King Palms, but they're not. They're like paper cones. I mean, they're hemp cones, but like a paper type stuff. And they're not like the leaf like a regular King Palm. So, I was a little disappointed, uh, but we got them. And someone actually came in today looking for a regular hemp cone, more of a paper type cone. And I said, well... There you go. Um, so he tried this instead of his zigzag. What? Who was it? Amanda B. What? All right, so uh, look at this. That's right. It's a bear. My favorite animal. That's a little bear. A little stem there. This is a pretty decent little piece. Uh, and then uh, it sits like this too for no reason <laughs> so it can do that I'm tired. Uh, but yeah there's uh, a couple different color schemes uh, all translucent uh, but yeah neat little bear piece you know what <laughs> all of this uh, new um, Milky Way and stuff and we didn't show any of it which one? Milky Way oh you are planning to the yeah. The candy bar? Yeah, I know all of these glass pieces. That's why they're over here. Okay. But that's okay. We can show them next week. Mm. Already 55. Yeah. So we'll just go ahead and show you this thing. Oh, finally. Yeah, because it, <laughs> this show, this uh, this sold out. Like, this sold the next day. And then we were going to show it on the... Before they 
Awesome. Before showing. Yeah, they came in to like buy it, and we said nope. It's not going to be on the floor till after we show it on the show. And it'd be and, gone. Yeah, and I forgot, and we didn't show it, and uh, and it sold. So we got another one in. Because and, they cannot uh, say no. Next day she come came back. Yeah, and they it. were. Uh, I can't help. They were sold out. Um, I can't stand If, if you this. if you got. And then they were sold out when we did. Oh, let's go this way. So big, it needs three people. So they. They were sold out when we did get them, so we were lucky to even get this one. Oh, wow. um, and then I did, I opened the other one. I should have just brought that, I guess. <laughs> okay, you can just set that over there. So, um,. Yeah, these are all, the glass is all etched. And uh, uh, bear. Yeah, super, Stop. super limited <laughs> edition. The bear's on both ends. Yes. A little spaceship yeah. there, uh, koala puffs, so. I don't know, when I see bear, like a little bit excited. <laughs> and then. Uh, Something's too nice to be too, too excited around. Oh, it's hard so to, uh, hard to see very, very well. It's not only bear, uh, but also dog. Yeah, koala. And then Satellite. she's got a ah. Uh, ah, not bear. dog. So, and then there's... Uh, this is a koala. Yeah, well, koala's close enough. Oh, yeah. down here, there he is. There's a little alien guy and him in the ship there. Anyway, super detailed with the etching and all. It's uh, like something on the story. bottom. Yeah, it's on the bottom, too. So, uh, and then... Bowl. I noticed that koala grab the same water yeah, that pipe. piece is actually here. on the piece. That is hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is, Where is that? Where, let's see. I want to knock anything over. Where, uh, where is that? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. So the, there's the piece is on the piece. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is awesome. I want to take inside the water pipe. Has it the, the, the earth is on the bottom. I don't know if yeah, I showed that there's like graphic stuff. There's things on the bottom. Uh, so yeah, really cool piece. Uh, and then that can uh, that can just go back in the box now. Right. Uh, so there, you got the you got to see it. Was that price correct on the box? Yeah. How much was it? Two twenty five. Oh, that's it. That's it. No, that's why I was like, is that price right? Oh yeah. So there you go. Uh, and two twenty five. I had to ask to make sure. And then there was a, oh, it goes in there too. And then these bag. pieces. And uh, there's a rig version as well. Things like the same price. Um, but yeah. And then what's next? Nothing. That's pretty much the end of the show. Do you want to do Man, this one? This one. We got that. crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. We got some crazy Milky Way uh pieces uh, to show you next week though that we would have showed you this week. He's always got more stuff than show. Yeah. And then these are new though. Uh, lemon haze. So it did smell like lemons. Um, and then there's a new apple one. And this did smell, it says sour apples, but it does smell just like straight <coughs> um water it does uh smell like straight apples uh let's see is it is this stuff yours yeah this one's this one's ours so yeah it smells like straight apples um and then there's tangy and uh tangerine and I thought that that was going to smell more, um, like that was going to be the best. I thought that the tangy might be my favorite and I would like lemon. Um, I, I do like apples, but the apples ended up being my favorite though, um, by a pretty good margin. And the, the tangy was kind of like my least and didn't, to me, didn't smell as strong. Mm. So anyway, uh, all right. And then every week we're giving away Two um, more left. Uh, two left. 
This week yeah, and then so next this week. week and next week and next week will be have to be a special episode because it's only one week until uh, fucking four twenty. Eh. So the next no, no more one week, right? Because yeah, so after the show, like two days later, is four twenty. Exactly. So yeah, just next week is the last episode mm. before four twenty. So whenever you come in, I think you should get this and the newest set that I don't have to show you right here. But there's the brand new set of uh, of these two. Mm. Um, number. Number in the forties. A number in the forties um, to get. Mm. A set of the original first design, That's hardly cool, uh, any couple more left of those stickers. Um, uh, mm. And then, that's, I guess, Mad Libs. Uh, before then, like, uh, I have an announcement. A tell 420, me tell. 420 sale coming soon. Uh, no, sale. Cash, please. What? <laughs> yes. Party. Bring cash to the party. Yes. Yeah, not the sale. Yes. I mean, bring cash to the sale too, but uh, uh, we don't have a way to take cards at the party. <laughs> so, yeah, try to bring cash cash to the uh, to the party. Yeah, and then so. like this is kind of a secret. 420 uh, fan, this time fan box. Don't mad at me, Jack. Maybe I miscalculated and they put too much things in the box, fan box. Mm. But you said always like uh, make... Uh, happy for customized good things so don't mad at me mm. so put too much good things mm. Mm. fun mm. box and i have a coupon uh 50 percent chance get the same thing coupon that's fun things Gam gamble mm. so first come first serve is that correct english yes cash to the party pick up your stuff within two weeks mm -hmm. still and no then. winner for the last prize Okay. Well, instead of a dab, I will uh, switch back over. Uh, Virginia says, to this. "Love my stickers." Yay! Yeah. Virginia won last week. Oh, last week. Mm. And then she loves it. Yay! Okay, so last year's is the show, guys. Then we'll see you uh, maybe next week. Oh, we are going to. I did have one one other video, Tom. Does anybody know who Tommy Wiseau? Wiseau? Does anyone know The Room? Anyone ever seen The Room? I don't know, Tommy. Mark. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, I did not. Yeah. Okay. Didn't they make another bad movie about the bad movie? No. They did a movie called The Disaster Artist that it was about him and the making of that movie, which was actually really good and like a kind of a drama. That's what I was thinking of. And it wasn't really funny. It was really good. It was just it was more of a drama and about and about it and kinda of him. But he's done some other movies. Um, and then there was one he did called uh, Big Shark that I didn't know anything about, but now I'm pretty interested in. So apparently he had a he did a horror movie. So anyway, I'm going to try this one. And he says, why do skunk smell? Surprisingly, a skunk is a friendly paper who can make a dank household pet? That's true, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, they do make good pets. Yeah, what a double and quandrous. <laughs> so, but what makes these clouds smell to high Vegas? <laughs> the skunk has scent bongs that contain a sticky smelling fluid. When attacked... The skunk aims this smelly smoke at its enemies. But the skunk does give a warning before dabbing. <laughs> it raises its nards first or stamps its feet. Oh, that fit too well. 
It does both of those things. <laughs> it raises its nads first or stamps its feet so that you can run away as fast as your ears can carry you. Hurry, Dumbo. Get now, get. The most quickly recognizable skunk is the one with the green line on its legs and another one between his eyes and its ears. Becky O'Hara is a skunk. These too many of these words went too well together. <laughs> Behind, uh, by, on his legs and another one between its nards and its <laughs> ears. <laughs> that works. Nads. Wolfman's got uh, Yeah. So anyway, let's see something that's like better. Sarah, um, Amanda, Jeff are the winners. Two weeks. Yeah, Yay. two weeks. No, yeah. we don't want this thing. We already, mm. we already looked at the space place. This is uh, this here. Okay, boys, I'm the referee. Who's ready for a fight? You two. What's your name? Jimmy. So why? So I don't. The graphics are just huge, and that makes it look cool. But all they're showing is like a boxing match. That's all that's going on. You know that's his thing. He does have an underwear company. He does underwear. Tommy Wiseau uh. or whatever. Like that's his his thing. Well, anyway, all right. Uh, good night, y'all. Good, good night, night, everybody. Yeah. I don't have a face. Oh yeah, we well, just have to move over. Or duck down. Yeah, you duck down, Brad. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you. Yeah. See thanks you. for. Ah, not not yet. <laughs> One more week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good night. Everybody. Hey, thanks for watching though. Thanks for tuning in for real, uh, for serious. Um, I hope you saw something cool, or maybe laughed, maybe. Some stuff you want to buy. Yeah, jeez. Too many, too many stickers. Hmm? That was the main thing. Uh, yeah. So many stickers. <laughs> Not too heavy as a water pipe. So let's get. I think the thing was kind of cool, the uh, slideshow thing. Yeah. That was kind of neat. Mm. I think the most important thing I learned, one of the most important things, was that uh, um, about. Rockets not even being a thing, you know, and they're like, oh, you can make a weapon out of them. Oh, we're in. And then no other use until someone. Or the fact that the Wright brothers had even successfully done one yet, and they're like, we got you. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, well, it's like, well, we're, we're not, we hadn't figured it out yet. No, that's all right. We'll we're pay, for, yeah, we'll pay for that. <laughs> Whatever you got, we want it. Yeah, we'll pay for however many lives it takes to get it. We are willing to risk your life. No, not your life, because you're our investment. We're 
willing to risk the lives of anyone who will sign up to get in that thing until you figure it out. Did it, they eventually test it themselves, though? I think they... I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I think they tested all of their things. I'm not sure. can't say that. I don't want to be misquoted. I know it was there in that museum. I know the answer was there, but... I wasn't able to pay enough attention. I did take pictures of it. Well, I, um, huh? Elijah said I keep doing the five minute field trips. Oh, cool. I, um, I did, I did, uh, um, uh, I did take pictures of all of the stuff I wanted to go back and read later or, you know, things that I was like, oh, that's really cool. I know I'm totally going to forget that once we leave. Uh, hit the air on anything, or is that what it needs to be on? Um, well, the, uh, no, the air, you can put on, like, 75. Uh, for heat or cool? Um, it's already on cool. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I guess we we'll, guess we'll just sign off. We're just cleaning up now, so I'm going to at least sign off. And, uh. Everybody say good night, yeah. Yeah, say, uh, see you next week, if not before then, and, and really appreciate it.